Hello and welcome to the Studio Mala podcast. I'm your host for now, Owen O'Donnell, and uh, my guest today is supposed to be Sean Cunningham, but there's still no sign of him. But he is the creative director and co-founder of Studio Mala itself, so I can't say anything. Oh, hang on. Hello. Hello. Owen. Oh, he's Owen, baby. He's graced us. How are you? Grant. Grant. Um, I was just reading about Gibbons there. Have you heard of these? Say, Have you heard of Gibbons? Have I heard I'm of I'm into Gibbons. Gibbons now. We're doing Gibbons. I'm thinking, like, I don't know. So you, we're doing Gibbons now. So the ratings in the podcast, they're, they're doing, it's doing pretty well, but I think if we, we can take a turn. I don't know if it's doing. Maybe animation, we can pull back on that a little bit. I'm thinking we do we do Gibbons now. Uh, like, for, for discussion or they've got entirely? Like long, they've got, are, like, are long the, arms. The, the whole studio They've is... got long arms. You know, like, they can walk on ropes and kind of swing around and stuff. Are you saying that Studio Mal is no longer an animation-based studio? Is, maybe. Is... I'm thinking about maybe we can just close, just shut that down, get into Gibbons. Gibbons. Yeah. Are, you, are we talking about... Lesser, lesser apes. Apes? They haven't got you in that whole world of digital monkeys have you no i just mean like i've, I've just heard give like it's good to get into we're just talking about gibbons. real actual yeah, yeah, yeah. living breathing games we're, we're not talking about yeah cyber gibbons they sound like this mm. they kind of go mm. okay because like a, a lot a lot of fool i would say foolish companies now are moving into digital uh-huh. monkey based activity now we're not talking about that. You want to talk. You want just, to move towards. If we can just get into Gibbon somehow, into when, the Gibbon when Avenue. When you say get into, do you, do you mean will you be drawing Gibbons? Will you be raising Gibbons? Will you be renting Gibbons you out? No, g- Gibbons, draw, flat Gibbons, real Gibbons, Gibbons up in the air. Gibbons. I'm not going to have a Gibbon as a guest. What have you been up to anyway? Well, I've just been preparing for series two. Of the Studio Mala podcast. I've had all these ideas. Okay. And I was quite excited about it. And now you're kind of blowing in here and telling me that, that we're moving away from animation entirely. And now we're talking, it's more of a Gibbon based thing. Yeah. Like if we, if there's some way you can make this work, if we can get it in some sort of. I don't want to make this about me. You know, obviously yeah. the studio comes first. But you're not talking about replacing me with, say, like a Gibbon expert. No, no, you, this is like, still. I need. I, I just need have you. to make a shift. Yeah. I need you to make this work. Okay. Because um, I've got a lot of my play right now too and I, I just need the Gibbons thing to The happen. animators uh-huh. who are employed uh-huh. by Studio Mala. Gone. Are they, right. Yeah. Okay. In the Gibbon market they won't be necessary. Will and you'll be bringing in sort of people. just the, the, Handlers? The right, yeah. The right kind of Gibbon people. If we can... Will, will there be one Muldoon-like hunter among them for... Just... Yeah, just in case we don't know, you know, we don't know what direction it could take and how quickly. So I like the the first thing Muldoon says during the um, tour yeah. Yeah. of Jurassic Park is he walks into shot saying they all ought to be destroyed. <laughs> yeah, that's not a very good like. <laughs> oh, we're here to see the dinosaurs, and one of the employees is like, "Put these in the bin." I know, kill them. <laughs> <laughs> so. Right. Okay. So I'll, I'm just going to scrap my list here because I had. But well, what was what was on the list? Okay. Well, back when this was an animation podcast, my okay. ideas for series two, new stings. Okay. Because all through series one, I I had that one where you said book book house. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, like I I stand, but it's a great sting. Uh huh. But um. A second sting. Okay. I was like series two, a second sting. Yeah. I was actually thinking of that as the tagline as well for the whole series. Yeah. Series two, a second sting. Because people who maybe dropped off the podcast for programming, they only have one sting. I'm not listening to this. So if they see series two is called a second sting, they'll be like, oh, hang on. That's kind of, that's I might give that fun. another punt. Kind of like bees. It's a shame though, because we probably won't be doing the bee. Then mm. here's a sting for you. <laughs> So that's so that's that's the sound a given makes with some cool music that I uh, found. We'll use that anyway. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What else did you have? 
Well, I, I was going to ask, since I knew I'd be talking to you today, uh-huh. uh, am I in trouble? Um, I mean, not on the air. Like you're, you're no, you're fine. You're fine. Okay, you're fine. How do you, how do you feel about series one? Is this move to Gibbons? Is this based on oh, you not the listening gu- to not the guests? One? The guests are all wonderful. Okay, a lot to say. It's more. Do you think just, the podcast is boring? Just the more I listen to you, I thought maybe we need to. You know, Did you think the podcast was boring? I thought I thought you, you were, to I thought you were quite boring. Okay. No, I think that's fair. So you can see where I'm coming from with the. I I can see. I mean, look, I I I I've, I've heard them all myself. Yeah. And uh, you know, obviously, nothing against the the guests. They were all wonderful. Just picture if I don't know who who did we have? Say, I if, imagine when you hired me for this, you were thinking this will be really. This won't be. Well, be good as this won't be boring. Yeah. And um, then you you listen to it through, and it was like, hang on. Yeah. Are the guests? Are, am I still going to be talking to people within animation, or? Um, I'll think about that. We'll, we'll uh, okay. Have you got? Have you lined up guests no. to do Gibbons? This is this is. I I need you to make this work. Okay. If you can. Okay. I I'll I'll Google Gibbons. Yeah. Look look up Gibbons. Well, if you need to, I've got like I can. Do you want me to tell you a bit about them? Just right. I mean, I gotta. Say, I don't know. Right. Gibbon fact. Okay. All right. Okay. Right. Did you know this? Right. Because of their throat sack. They've got like a little throat sack. Gibbons can be heard from over three kilometers away. What do you think of that? Three kilometers? Yeah. It's not an amount that would make me go, whoa, that's so far. Fine. I mean, I but I'm, finding out about the throat sack is interesting. It's pretty good, I suppose. What, what, did you, what was on your itinerary then, Will? Um, I'll humor you for a bit. What is Studio Mala? Uh, working on at the moment what can people look look forward to from the studio well before I decided to get into the kind of Gibbon Avenue no it was quite good like since we last talked it was it was a good year you probably talked to some people about this but we had um, Pen15 was a project we worked on Cora directed that it was probably the first full year where there was other Penis. directors <laughs> um, so I Pen15 I, Pen look, I was looking at my notes and yeah, I get maybe it's just the way I wrote it down, but no, it's pen, it's pen, pen 15. fifteen. Yeah, do you think they were very clear about that? Do they know that has it aired already? But well, yes, the pen fifteen special. It was good. Uh, that was kind of a like it was a big thing for us, and and since then we've been kind of a good bit bigger in terms of there's a a bigger crew working with us now, a bigger team, and it's it's been really good. We're in a weird limbo now where there's a few projects I can't talk about just yet, but. They're good and they're coming out and we've been doing well. It's been it's been nice. I mean, before I started considering, you know, cancelling all the stuff because it, obviously the given market's give more yeah. it's more fruitful. But um we were looking at like IP things, you know, and developing our own stuff and getting quite close to to that, you know, getting into development. So uh and if we weren't getting into the given market, I'd say we'd be quite close to, you know, some shows of our own maybe some films of our own getting into kind of uh, God, that would be really exciting if that's what was happening yeah. instead of the gibbons yeah but we'll see I, like i might reassess um i mean i could give you you know one of them i mean i can talk about it we had an idea for like it was like a mech thing mm. um that so, would have been really good yeah but... we have an idea for a show and i'm going to share more about this in the next couple of months i'd say like images and artwork and stuff but um you and i came up with an idea for a show called clean kill and it's very much kind of a passion project, uh, a comedy um, inspired by, you know, Evangelion and Gundam and, and mech stuff and anime. And, um, you know, we're, we're, we're getting to a place where we can actually develop artwork and ideas for that a bit more. So that's exciting. Uh, we've got Animal Airport, uh, which is uh, a kids comedy series with, with animals in an airport. There's a teaser for that on YouTube, but I might, I might take that down if if uh, we cancelled the whole animation thing but unfortunately there weren't any givens in that and there could have been there was an opportunity there but no but it's been good so you know IP stuff is, is coming along we've got um, a bigger crew a nice kind of community of artists working together um, but I'm gonna it's going it's going in the bin 
soon? How uh, so Studio Mallet is doing very well. How much of that success would you put down to the Studio Mallet podcast? Um, maybe about uh, 75%, which isn't enough as far as I'm concerned. You should be carrying okay. more. Because, no, I'm, I mean, 75%, you know, obviously it's not 100. Yeah. Which is what you want. Mm-hmm. But I am glad to hear that the podcast has not been to the detriment of the studio. Yeah. Yeah. Because I was thinking I'm, I'm taking away, I'm taking away prestige. Yeah. Time. Resources, yeah. yeah, and cash. Yeah, you're wasting everyone's time and money. Mm. Yeah, is one way we could have looked at it, but no, yeah. I think. And I think I I felt that that is probably why we're having this meeting today because I I thought because you were texting me like every time a new one came out, like all caps, just this is boring. Yeah. Just I would just keep getting these texts. This is boring. This is boring. And. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> This is born. I hate this is, you. This is born. I, I I hate you. I think like you know the the comments on the videos was like this is born. This is born. I hate him. Hate him. Hate him. Guests are good. Hate the host. Yeah. This is born. Um. And I thought he's he's you know reading these mess this feedback and he's also saying it himself that this is born and he hates me. Mm. I'm gonna lose this gig. Yeah. So I'm I'm pleased to hear that. I mean, I won't say I'm pleased about the shift to Gibbons, right? But I'm pleased that but look, I'd still have my claws. The Gibbons thing. If if I didn't this. have faith in you, we wouldn't even be trying it. But I know you can. Okay. You can take us to Gibbon Heaven. Is there a Gibbon Heaven? I've got a Gibbon fact for you. Okay. Is Gibbons, it, there is a Gibbon. Do heaven. Gibbons go to heaven? <laughs> it's a good fact. <laughs> it's a fact. By the way, heaven real. <laughs> <laughs> Confirmed. Oh, no, I've got another Gibbon fact for you, just just to keep things on track. Okay. Um, sorry, I was. Sorry, I, I keep I keep slipping back into Studio Mala is an animation studio. Since but, you batted away the three kilometers thing for the 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 screaming they do and all that stuff. Yeah, um, boring and untrue. Yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. So, uh, given fact, another sting. Um, Gibbons can swing at speeds as high as 55 kilometers per hour. How about that? That sounds like it's gone wrong. Like they've miscalculated. <laughs> like they can swing. Of course they can swing at 55 miles per hour. I could swing <laughs> at 55 miles per hour. I, I, would, I would be very upset. Yeah. If I was thrown off a building, I guess I could. <laughs> I could pick up some incredible speeds, I'm telling you. <laughs> um, anyway, do you have any other things in your... Uh, let's see. No, I, I mostly just wrote, what's Studio Mala doing and am I in trouble? Right, okay. Well, I mean, no, you're, you're fine. You're fine. I think, I think you're fine. Well, I mean, we can make kind of like... I think we'll you're fine we'll manage I mean I think we'll manage I mean it's a shame we've got to kind of scrap the whole studio thing because mm, mm. throw away all those pencils yeah because uh, well, I mean we can make kind of like we can make something out of them are we keeping the oblique strategy card element to the oh podcast? yeah I mean I feel, feel like that's a good still a good tool even in the Gibbon market so I, I, I'd I'd recommend like towards the end we definitely get into that maybe to see where it takes us you know uh, Did anything in particular kick off this Gibbon thing, or I just saw you know people are talking about Gibbon, Gibbon market, Gibbon, you know it's um, it's uh, Gibbons, you know there's Gibbon everything now. So I just thought Gibbon people are present. Gibbon people are present. You're you're Gibbon. You're uh uh. That's good. See you're uh, look. I I mean. I've been uh, throwing a curveball, but I'm, I've got a bat. You're kind of getting a few. <laughs> um, I wanted to ask you something. It's a shame we're going to get rid of them, but what did you think of the Mala Minis and all that stuff? That'll probably be one of the bigger losses, yeah. I think, because the, the Mala Minis were great. I think we saw great Mala Minis last year. Yeah. I was looking forward to more this year, uh-huh. but obviously, you know, it's given. We could do some sort of, like, give one of our crew a gibbon and just go you know 
Are we out keeping what to do the with that. the B iconography for Studio B? Um, might have to change the name of the studio. Actually, I mean, if people see B iconography and like B logos, and they're like, "Oh, what do they do?" And it's like, "Oh, Gibbons." Yeah. But yeah, it'd like, be like you know how the WWF people see that and say, "Oh, I suppose they do pandas." They make pandas, and it's actually like big strong men battling yeah. each other. Yeah. You know, it's just. I guess it's meant to be they're like they're strong like pandas. There's nothing that makes you seem like oh you're you're from ages ago than making jokes about the <laughs> WWF, WWF. Yeah. <laughs> you're from ages ago <coughs> uh, here's another belter okay I've turned on MTV the other day music television not, not a bit of music inside and there was no music videos at all it was all teenagers uh, re- it was all reality programs. I think even that is like fifteen years yep, old now. That's... <laughs> it's probably not. <laughs> um, right, I've got one last given fact. Um, this is one I just read uh, on Wikipedia. Uh, pair bonded gibbons occasionally um, occasionally get divorced. I'm not sure what that actually. I'll, probably, I'll have to work on that fact. I, I didn't. I should have read more into that. <laughs> From but, the start, pair bonded. I wasn't sure what that meant. Yeah. But... They get divorced. Or get, Gibbons get divorced. Gibbons get divorced. Like naturally in the wild. It was a good year for um, music videos for us as well. We got um, Fly Home done. I don't know. Have you seen that? Have you, have you seen Fly it? Home. Who's that by? The Living Tombstone. Who's worked with us a couple of times on Sunburn as well. Um, but yeah, we made another music video um which we loved working on that was a really fun one i think we got our first akira bike slide <laughs> in it which was which is great that was i think fred animated that well done fred and no the team were really fun on that and um it was just a delight to work on cora um finished up a music video the amazing is the name of the youtuber um we did it for and yeah keep an eye out for that it could be out by the time this is out but yeah it's nice it, it's been nice being able to maintain working in like the short animation stuff because i think that's where we we have a lot of fun and like keep that kind of level of 2d quality up so i think if we weren't just throwing this all in the bin we'd want to kind of keep that going music videos and more just more folks on that stuff and uh and see how our own ip stuff takes off so if someone listening was a big shot music person who wanted to get a 2D, a yeah. really cool 2D yeah. music video, they should slide into your DMs. Yeah, do. I mean, you if you want to dismantle the Gibbon market, we I'm, I'm willing to... <laughs> if you make an offer big enough, we'll <laughs> yeah. buy new pencils, yeah. bring back in the drawing desks. Yeah. Uh, eliminate the, the Gibbons. <laughs> eliminate the Gibbons. <laughs> They're gone. Don't worry about them. Is it, should we? Do you think we should actually start talking about the possibility of moving away from Gibbons already, just as a contingency? I've got a Gibbon joke for you. Okay. All right. And and I think you're going to really like this one. I wrote this myself. Okay. Um, two lesser apes are having an argument in the back of a library. Okay, that's the sell of it. <laughs> Lesser apes. They're as loud and obnoxious as can be. I'm working on my kind of structure. Uh, so the, libra- the librarian walks over and says, Hey, keep it down. You're giving me a headache. Um, I can hear you from over three kilometers away because of your large throat sack. <laughs> um, what do you think of that? I, I, I thought it was uh, factually sound. Uh-huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Lesser apes. <laughs> there was some lesser apes yeah. making a Barney in the library. So I went over there and I told them. <laughs> they were in a library three kilometers away. So I went over and told them to hush. That might be a better way of <laughs> No, that's that's really good. That's really good. That's Thanks, really, it's really good. It's really See, good. This is why I keep in you fact, around. In fact, because that joke was so good, I would like to extend an invitation to you. Uh-huh. Would you like to... Sit in. Not all the time. Okay. 
would you like to sit in on future Studio Mala podcasts? That could be good. I mean, I, there was a few times I felt like I would have liked to ask a few questions myself. Um, yeah. So it'd be less boring. So it'd be less boring. Do you know what? I'll, I'll make... Yeah, I can make you look less boring. Mm, Is that a good mm, mm. deal? So I, I'm willing to... I mean, I it. feel less boring already just... Yeah. Just hearing that joke. Mm. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll do that. I'll, I'll do some jokes. I'll come in with some jokes. So maybe if we're I'll talking think to of guests, questions. I'll just sit you in the room. Think of some I'll gags. Sit, yeah, I'll sit in the room. I'll be quiet for the whole interview. When we're about to wrap up, I can just slide in with the joke of the episode. Mm. <laughs> and it'll be that kind of quality. Yeah, you can have a, a bit at the end where you say what we've learned. Yeah. And then also do a joke. We can call it uh, uh, Sean's Jokes. Well, I know. We'll open it with a joke like they did on Catchphrase. Yeah. And then at the end, what we've learned, like Springer. <laughs> yeah. I'm from ages ago. I'm wondering how many people <laughs> we've alienated. Catchphrase. Like, not even the old catchphrase, the really <laughs> yeah. old catchphrase with the guy yeah. who told a joke at the start. Dear this is when, when, we're, when we're pitching the, replace me with a gibbon if we're trying to pitch a younger the podcast gibbon. to like a big distributor it's like it's going to be like catchphrase and springer <laughs> and we're going to talk well, about should, the ww i probably need to make clear jerry springer yeah yeah <laughs> everyone knows him now he's a good point he's still a good point of reference <laughs> <laughs> um listen i need to just run to the loo so i'll just i'll be back in a second okay? you, you're going to the loo now i just, I just in the middle of the is that not... Look, I'll be Look, back. If you, Look, if you need to go to the loo, I'll I mean, just, that's... I'll just be a sec. Oh, my God. I'm sorry about that. You're fine. Um, I was just checking Twitter there, just on the way back from the loo. Um, cut the Gibbon thing. Out. We're, we're, we're going to cut, cut stay the out of the Gibbon thing. Yeah, I think it's it mightn't be the wisest yeah, like, idea. I don't... You've talked about Gibbon so consistently for the past 25 minutes that if I caught I can't caught the Gibbons right I mean if you want to if you want to talk about something else now I, I'd be glad to hear I it. could we could announce the reopening of if we have to keep the Gibbon thing we were Studio Man is back uh, can we go with animation that? animation is back we're animating we're oh, still animating God. We're not firing everyone to get into Gibbons. Because, Sean, i, I got to be honest with you. I was sitting here while you were talking about Gibbons thinking, I'm not sure about this. Yeah. I can say that now. Bring back the, the pencils and the erasers and the, and the, the sheets of paper and, and all that. Yeah, no, I, I think, yeah, that was a, a very eye opening. So I'll tell you, the, the Gibbon thing, that was a shit idea. <laughs> no, you know, it's good. It's good to take a break sometimes so you can get some clarity mm. and I'm, I'm glad I didn't it mightn't have been the wisest thing to just not check with the other members of, of staff and the yeah and just blindly go into the Gibbon market yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. so no I think maybe um, we'll stick with animation okay maybe we can check in next year just to see if we yeah I mean you know, like I think Stepping away from animation and like getting into the given business there, even if only briefly, gave you a perspective. Yeah. That was like, you could see from a new angle where it was like, oh, the animation industry was actually quite good and like where my talents and interests lie. And these givens, like they stink. <laughs> they, like they absolutely reek. Yeah. No matter how much I blast them with the hose, they just, oh. Yeah. Boo. Yeah. So uh let's go back to but you know, you're going back stronger, I feel. Yeah. I think Studio Mallet I'm I'm excited now because this is post Gibbon thing. It's like you know remember like Nintendo were like, Oh, let's make playing cards. Yeah. Yeah. Well first they made they made a bunch of Mario games. These are the facts. They made a bunch of Mario games and they were like, Oh, this is boring man yeah. and then they started making cards instead and it was like oh this stinks <laughs> back to mario Mario's and that was back. where the, well, that was what they really 
liked to do. Yeah. And they rehired all those people. And the guy who was doing the podcast at the time yeah. at Nintendo, everyone was like, oh, get rid of him, get rid of him. But then they were like, no, hang on. That's actually a really good and important part of this. <laughs> like, important. Like, almost... I won't say as important as the like thing itself, mm. but pretty close. Yeah. And I think with Studio Mala, it's a bit like that. It's like, look, obviously the animation comes first. Obviously, right? And the podcast about that can't be as Im- or more. I wouldn't say it's more important. Than that. Uh-huh. But it's pretty close. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, to answer your other question, I'd love to um, hang out and, and chat to more people throughout the year. That sounds great. Okay. Let's do that. So who are you thinking for guests in future? Oh, God. Sean, what can you tell us about the future for Studio Mal? Yeah, I guess we're, we're back on track now. We, we, we have a series that we're wrapping up pretty soon. Uh, we'll hopefully see the first episode of that pretty shortly um or within the year at least um just yeah we're, we're, we're still going strong and um there's going to be stuff coming out over the next year there'll be more Malaminis. uh there'll hopefully be some more shorts um more music videos and we're gonna this year will be more of a push just you'll, everyone will be seeing more of our ip stuff um as it's developed we've decided to kind of like not be too secretive about it before it launches we want to actually share like the, the process of making this stuff um so you'll be seeing a lot more of our, our own projects that that are ours creatively nice uh, and yeah really looking forward to to all of that stuff so and more podcasts um, Phew. yeah i guess to sum that up I, this might be out before the podcast but if not you can check it out but there should be a new studio reel with like a a nice supercut of some of Lovely. our most recent stuff so that will be fun to watch uh, and I think we'll be doing another one of those actually soon enough too um, so yeah no I'll, I'll pretty, pretty feeling pretty good about all of that and hopefully it just ends the pandemic I mean not the studio <laughs> <laughs> if you had to choose one to end um, I mean I'd be willing to stay with the pandemic if it turned out the Gibbon market was <laughs> was a successful avenue because I'd happily um, not the, see anyone the Gibbon the Gibbons are gone I'm sorry yeah no sorry yeah thanks for pulling me we'll, back we'll uh, um, just keep the, we'll I, keep the stings because that's done now right yeah because we had it live by the way this is this is live you, you're listening to this live <laughs> <laughs> it's live from the hive the hive is back yeah I'm, I'm, <laughs> this is, um I mean, I guess since we're still doing the podcast, could I could I do an oblique strategy? By all means. Card. Um, it's a great way to kill one minute 30. I'll do an oblique strategy card. ka Do you need to explain the oblique strategy cards every time? Or do you reckon people know what they are? By well, now? it's a it's a brand new series. Let's you, you refresh everyone. The oblique strategy cards, they're um, cards uh, created by Brian Eno. Uh, and Peter Schmidt and Peter uh, yeah and who uh, I suspect did the heavy lifting and Brian Eno is kind of the face and Brian Eno like makes the the money off you it. think we could get Brian Eno from Brian Eno. on the com. podcast I think so and I can say to him Brian why are you charging so much for this <laughs> that costs loads for a deck of cards I know anyway, anyway. <laughs> they're cards that give you they're meant to give you ideas yeah. Uh, so here's an idea for um, uh, this podcast. Uh, the one I've drawn says, "Emphasize the flaws." <laughs> Emphasize the yeah. flaws. I don't think. <laughs> well, you know, we have been doing that because I must have said it's boring. You've got permission to like badly edit from this point of the podcast. So from here on. It can edit, just sound like rubbish. Boring. If you wanted to start bit crushing my audio, <laughs> um, and then then there'll be kind of a like a rustic artistic feel to it, you know. So 
if you want me to kind of intentionally edit poorly. Yeah. 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 From now on. Do you feel that when we have guests, when they hear it back, are you okay with them feeling completely disrespected by like monkey noises and bad audio editing decisions? Well, we can justify it now with because of so that, we've uh, established that yeah with this episode i've got an actual answer that just occurred to me for for that so the current. podcast is just a big joke now no it's rubbish yeah yeah but so it's a you... big joke now yeah okay this is so before it was you know like let's have a interesting an, an talk. interesting intimate yeah chat with creative people now it's just a big joke no big funny monkey joke podcast big stupid podcast yeah i think that's what we should buy a pair of dummies <laughs> come on our stupid podcast for dummies <laughs> for dumb dumbs um i want to recommend a book before we sign off just to be less of a dumb dumb uh let me just check this over here that thing what does it say again emphasize the flaws that's something i actually um, read about there's a good great book called Wabi Sabi W-A-B-I-S-A-B-I but it's about um, it's only that about that exact thing emphasising kind of flaws in it's by art. Leonard Corin yeah and it's kind of about you know art photography poetry and things but I've always been kind of like that I mean you could claim it's a crutch as well but like I've always liked artwork not looking too super polished and too clean like I think people will always recognize that even um, a lot of the line work in Studio Mile stuff I mean obviously we'll, we'll, we'll explore more styles um, as we go but anything I've directed anyway usually has like a very rough um, brush mm. um, and I mean that's for a lot of reasons it's it can be uh, it's great to get stuff animated quickly because it can be quite forgiving but I just really like I, I like to look at that I don't like things looking too cold and clean I mean, Um, the classic example is Old Simpsons and Modern Simpsons. Yeah. Where every frame, every still frame of Modern Simpsons is like, looks perfect. Yeah. But in movement, the older stuff often looks much better because it's a bit messy. Yeah. So like, I like, I like, I like personally, I like honing in on that stuff. And sometimes I purposefully like make drawings a bit scruffier than they were even when i drew them so that uh, that aspect i, I sometimes artificially dirty things i do up. remember every, every time i've watched something that you've made you do spend a lot of it leaning over and saying i'm actually much better than this <laughs> and i've never known what you meant by that until now and you'd say it so often <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm like actually, I'm trying to watch I'm actually this. deadly but I just want I'm actually deadly this I, I made that rubbish on purpose it's, <laughs> it's called Wabu Wabi Sabi yeah I used Wab, Wabi Sabi just put out the Wabi Sabi card whenever and it says waving like, this book in my face yeah and saying this is why I did that crap because if only I had that in like secondary school like if I you know couldn't draw a perfect circle and would get when is that a secondary school thing drawing a perfect circle <laughs> but if I had that tool on my belt going actually uh, sir that's um, that's wabby sabby it's quite it's quite important actually um, but I use that card a lot in uh, in college it, it's good yeah actually a tip for art students if you want to get um, better grades and your line work tends to be quite scruffy just say yeah, it's wabby sabby and you'll be grand so wabby sabby by Leonard Corrin recommended yeah. Yeah, like on a real note, it is a good book and it's very quick. And um, yeah, it's it's it, it's inspired me art style wise. Um, there Lovely. you go. Well, Sean, thanks very much for taking the time to come in. Oh yeah, sorry, eventually. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Um, yeah. No, well, at least I was on time and everything. So I mean, it, it, no. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. Fine. Thanks very much for having me. And um, yeah, I can't wait to to speak with you more over the year and. Hopefully talk to some fun guests. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Um, so are you, sh- are you sure getting out of the given thing is... Positive. So I, I sh- I've, I'm an uncertain guy, uh-huh. but there's nothing I've been more sure of. I don't... Just drop this given thing. Okay. Because it's like... 
ethically yeah practically okay financially yeah I mean there's not one advantage to this okay there's not one advantage to this Gwyneth Paltrow did a tweet but though it would look quite convincing don't mind Gwyneth Paltrow's tweets okay don't mind them okay okay they're nothing okay 